Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this bikini button. That's the back side and front side and I have the top. I made it and shared it before. You can find it here and you can make this bold and wear it for uh, maybe a sunbathing or uh, you can wear them uh, while swimming too okay I use this yarn it's Alize Diva Plus it's silky and mercerized effect it's a nice yarn I really like the look of this one it's 100 gram. I use 100 gram for just uh, this button. And it's 220 meters, 241 yards. I think it's size 2 yarn. I'm not sure. That's the color. And it's microfiber acrylic yarn. You can use cotton too. You don't have to use this yarn. Uh, you don't have to use a size 2 yarn. I will show you how to make it for any size you want. You just need some um, sample. Okay, I use this one. And you can make it as you like. Um, and if you watch this video uh, carefully, I think you can make it with any stitch you want or any size you want easily. And that's all. That's my yarn. It recommends 2.2 millimeter hook, I think. Um, I, I use 3 millimeter and 2.5. Oops, sorry. 3 millimeter and 2.5 millimeter hooks of course you don't have to use this kind of um, small size uh, hooks but a smaller hook a number smaller hook will be good for this part okay if you are using 4.5 millimeter for here, you can use 4 millimeter for here. Okay. And I made this for the medium size, but um, as I said, you can make it any size you want. And that's all. If you are ready, uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start. Start with a slip knot and uh, make 19 chains. I will use this um, bikini bottom as my model and 19 is enough for me it's a little bigger as you see but I will use this one chain as a turning chain so that's enough for me I will make the back side first if you watch my other uh, video you know how to make the single crochets but I will show you one more time skip this first one insert into the next stitch I will not yarn over yarn under grab the yarn and complete the single crochet insert into the stitch yarn under grab the yarn and complete it Make 18 single crochets totally. That's the last one. 
chain one and turn. And for the back side, we will make increases. Actually, I made it and I can show you like that. As you see this model, mine uh, a little smaller than that. I didn't make so close here, but if you want to make it like that, I will show you uh, now. I will make an increase for one row and other row, I didn't make an increase. If you want to make it like that, make it two time like that and then time to time you can increase for both rows. I will show you now. Chain one, turn. Now I will use back loops. Insert into the back loop, grab the yarn, make a single, and into same place make one more single crochet. If you want, you can put a stitch marker here. I will look this tail. Every time I see this tail, I will make um, two single crochets here and two single crochets into the last stitch. I will make the rest see at the end. I have 18 stitches right now. And into this last stitch, if you have any problem to find the last stitch, you can put stitch markers them and into this first one too also. Here. I will insert and make two single crochets and I have totally 20 stitches right now. Chain one and turn. Now I will put only one single crochet into the each stitch. And that's the last two row, uh, two stitches. Don't miss this. I have 20 again. Chain one, turn. I see this. I will make two into the first, two into the last stitch. Into this last stitch, I will put two. Chain one, turn, and put one uh, single crochet into every stitch and I will keep going like that and as I told you before you want to make here a little wider uh, you can uh, if you uh, say this row one and row two uh, we are making row one without increases row two with increases uh, time to time you can put increases into this row one two but not every time time to time if you make it uh, every time it will be so big looks bad and uh, you can make it wider like that um i made it let me come i made it uh, totally 46 row I put it like that. I'm making this for the um, medium size and it will loosen up a little. As you see. So, that's enough for me. Uh, I will make the other side and attach them from here. As I said before, you can use your own uh, example and make it like that. 
for the other side I will insert from here or you can make it from this side too chain one insert into the same chain sorry yarn under and make a single crochet I'm hiding these tails too in the meantime insert into the next chain grab the yarn make a single into the next chain grab the yarn make a single put totally 18 single crochets here that's the last one and now I will put a stitch marker here and that will show me the beginning point and um, I will make increases from uh, this side but not now uh, for a few rows I will just make single crochets 18 single crochets without increases I'm not sure how many rows uh, how many rows I will make right now but I will make them and tell you uh, when I completed okay I'm just uh, sorry for the noise I'm just making them and turn back to you I made totally 15 rows and you can count them like that don't count it from here that's our right side two four six eight ten twelve fourteen and fifteen okay that's the easy way to count them and that's not the right side that's not the um, front side totally we will fold it like that a little uh, maybe four rows will be back side and that's the front side think it like that uh, you see this sewing and uh, we started from here make a few rows then start to make the front side I hope I explain you I don't know how you called here and I couldn't find it on dictionary but we made this part right now okay now we can start to make here increases the front part increases I'm here chain one put two then make one single crochet and that's the last stitch put two chain one turn back and put one single crochet into each stitch and I will repeat this pattern for the row I saw this stitch marker I will make an increase for the other row uh, I will not make by the way how to know how many rows you will need here I will just put these two together like that okay and I just try to make them same and I think it will start to increase from here I will just look at it and I like to make it like that if you want you can start to increasing 
from this row, from the row 13. It's a little um, your choice. And if you are a bigger size, maybe you can start um, the row 17. Just keep going like that. I will make the front part too. You will not uh, have the same amount of stitch here because we made almost a um, quarter of it right now. It will be like that when you reach almost here. Just finish and wait for me. I complete uh, this part to I made totally 68 rows. I think that's enough. Uh, I can show you like that. Now we will make this part and for this we will uh, join these two parts uh, together with some chains. How to measure it? Uh, you can measure yourself around your um, underbelly uh, or top of your hips. Uh, this will not be a high waist um, bikini. So um, Measure yourself around a little, maybe uh, two inches under your belly. Yeah, I think two or three inches. Let me check it. Yeah, two inches under your belly. And um, I'm making this medium size, and that's not much my size, so I will check it from the Google and I can show you like that. For the medium front width must be 11 inches and uh, 14, a little more than 14. Uh, I could use this uh, 14 and 11 um, is uh, 25. Let me check mine. It's nine and this one a little more than ten. By the way, this will be losing up. So don't, uh, th that's not the real measurements actually. So that's 19, 19 uh, inches. I have 19 inches and I have 6 inches left uh, if uh, I need 25 here. Okay, you can measure it like that if you have, um, if you measure yourself and you have maybe 80 centimeters. Okay, just measure this one but you can stretch it a little it's 25 and stretch this one a little too it's 30 30 and 25 is 55 and for the 8 centimeters you will need 25 centimeters you can measure it from here or that's one uh, is a 25 centimeters actually uh, count your stitch number and divide it uh, if you have for example 40 stitches here uh, you can make 20 here 20 here okay you can um, calculate it like that and now um, I need six inches I will just make it like that and count this stitch it's 
it's thirty. So I could make uh, fifteen here, fifteen from here. I will make a little less. So I will make um, fourteen from here and fourteen from here. Uh, and when you make these chains, just directly try it. If it's too big uh, or too small, you can change it with this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Join from this first stitch. And make the same thing from here. One, two, don't count this one actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, and fourteen. And you complete this fourteen chains. Showing from this first stitch. By the way, I turn this inside out and that's the right side. Here look good as you see, but you can use both sides. It's not here not looking bad also. chain two turn and now I will make double crochets uh, by the way I want to tell you one more time I highly recommend you to wear it right now okay it seems a little too uh, small to me but where do I know I'm not medium <laughs> I have big hips <laughs> And starting from the first stitch, make 14 double crochets. Don't count this chain too. And when you complete these 14 double crochets, starting from this first stitch, keep making double crochets. Just insert both loops, use both loops, and make double crochets all around the uh, belly. Complete this row, then see you. At the end of the row, I will join from this first stitch, chain two, and we will make front post and back post double crochet. We are making the ribbing around this first double crochet. Insert your hook from right to left, grab the yarn, pull through, make a front post double crochet. Yarn over. Insert your hook from back this time around the next double crochet. Give it the back again. Grab the yarn. Make a back post. Make a front post. Back post. Front post. Back post. Back post. 
So I keep going like that, complete the row. I'm making my last back the pony back uh, post uh, double crochet and join from this first stitch, chain two, and make a front pause to the front pause, make a back pause around the back post. Uh, keep going like that. I will make it for a few rows. Um, if you want, you can use a um, smaller hook. Maybe make this row with the same hook and uh, for other rows you can use a smaller hook and make it a little tighter. And uh, I will keep going like that. See you when I finish it. I made it totally six row, three rows with um, three millimeter hook and three rows with 2.5 millimeter hook. And uh, one last touch. If you want, you can finish it here. Or if you want, you can make it uh, longer and make it high weight. I just um, want to make here so it will match uh, with the top. Chain one, make a single crochet. Skip one, two and into this uh, stitch. Make one, two, three, four, five double crochets. Skip one, two into the next stitch, make a single. Skip two into the next stitch here, make five double crochets. Skip two into the next, make a single crochet. Skip two, make five double crochets. Skip two, make one single crochet. Just keep going like that. If you have enough, you haven't got enough stitch, you can skip um more or less and finish it like that i'll make this and turn back to you i almost complete the row look i don't have enough stitch left here i will skip just one and into the next make five double crochets Skip one again and into this single crochet, join with a slip stitch, chain one, cut the yarn and hide it. I'm sorry. I want to make same thing for here and here too. I could show you like that. I have 14 uh, chains here but I will not use all of them. Join from here, make a chain and make a single crochet. Skip two into the third one. Make one, two, three, four, five, skip two or maybe three and join, skip two into the next, whoops,
and skip the rest, join with a single crochet. And that's all. I put two here and I think that's enough for me. I'll make the same thing for here too. Um, and see you. And that's all. I hope you like this tutorial. If you like, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Since crochet is my Instagram, Pinterest and website address, you can reach me there. And I share some of my written patterns on this website address. Uh, don't forget to check out. And that's it for today. Hope to see you again. Have a nice day.